Good morning. This morning on our segment, we're going to cover the 16 homes in the North Olympic Peninsula, mainly Scrim and Port Angeles, that have sold in the last seven days. Enjoy our intro now, which is of Whiskey Beach Creek Beach. Creek Beach. <laughs> I dreamed I held you in my arms But when I awoke, dear, I was mistaken And I hung my head and I cried You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You never know <laughs> me we're uh brent and amy powell and we live in port angeles but we are realtors for the squim and port angeles market basically mm -hmm. um we work with brokers group real estate professionals and we um, <laughs> love helping people with the transfer of property either buying and selling mostly homes occasionally some land yeah to to move your dream forward whether yeah. it's buying or selling yeah Anyway, um, so what's going on in, in the neighborhood? Well, we still, we always talk about Crab Fest. It's coming the 11th through the 13th of October. That's coming. Yeah, this is the Dungeness Crab, which is named for our area. And, uh, we, but we, it's found in Alaska? Is yeah, it? yeah, it's all over, but for some reason it's got the name of our local river, the Dungeness plateau and the river. They're not the huge ones. Those are king crabs. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. We get lo loads of folks from Canadians. You know, they come in from on the From Canadians? Ferry. What? We have loads of folks from Canadians. <laughs> loads of folks who are Canadian from Canada uh, <laughs> coming down uh, and enjoying the crab fest. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of booze. We usually go every year and we'll have that. Booze? Boothes. Probably a lot of booze too. Booth but, uh, booth us, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I appreciate the, my little helper here who <laughs> keeps me. He also tells me when the, when the light turns green, which I really appreciate. <laughs> and, and it gives a little advice on where to park. Yeah. We've only been married 40 some years. Yeah, so we're, I think we're getting closer to getting this down. So you want to start us off today? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> So um, <coughs> you'll, you'll notice we start uh, in Port Angeles and we start with the uh, lesser expensive and move kind of up the ladder to those that cost a little more. So the first one in Port Angeles is on West 14th Street, originally priced at 298000 sold for seven over at 305000 uh, This uh, has two bedrooms, one bath, 15 days on the market, built in 1924 with 936 square feet on a standard lot of 0.16 of an acre in territorial view. Yeah, that was a 100-year-old house. Yeah. So the next one in Port Angeles is on Home Lane, listed for four ninety nine nine fifty. dollars It sold for four ninety nine, dollars a little bit less. Three bedrooms, two baths, 97 days on the market, built in 1997 with 1720 square feet on one and a quarter acres and a mountain view. Okay, this next one is on Reich, Reich Lane and adjacent parcel. So, sounds like they had owned the parcel next door, sold them both together. Originally priced at 699,000, sold for 660,000. Three bedrooms, two baths, mm -hmm. one half bath, 12 days on the market, built in 1994. And uh, they have 2,074 <coughs> square feet on 1.61 acres in Saltwater View. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to not cough, but it's, sometimes it's hard. It's going around. So the uh, second, the fourth house in Port Angeles is on Golf Course Road, listed for 775. It sold for 760. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 45 days on the market. Built in 1947, that was an older one there. Yeah. 25, 12 square feet on four acres, and it had a mountain view. Yeah. 
Okay, the next one is one uh, one of our listings, one of our uh, good personal friends, and this is on South Alder Street. And uh, recently, where is that? Uh, it's so. Oh, up there. <laughs> just about below a, the college. Yeah, it's about a mile from here. Beautiful view, beautiful home. Yeah, the uh, whole neighborhood is. Yeah, whole whole neighborhood. It's really a, a nice place, and so uh, originally priced at eight hundred fifty, sold for eight hundred and twelve five hundred, in three bedrooms, two baths, one half bath, ten days on the market, built in nineteen sixty five with two thousand five hundred and twenty five square feet, and uh, with just a little under half an acre, saltwater view. Excellent. <clears throat> so that finishes up Port Angeles, and now we're going to have a puppy break. We're going to show the little puppies, and they're going to run around. And, and uh, okay. Yeah, they're half siblings, so they. Yeah. They're related. Really but um, yeah. M moving so on to since, swim. Since last week, uh, Berkey got tutored. <laughs> so he's. We're, st we're waiting for him to mellow mellow out a little more. I guess it takes a few months. It should have happened you know, a little, a little sooner. Too much testosterone still. <laughs> okay. Testosterone still floating around. Okay, you're you're on. All right. First house in Squim is on Green Meadows Drive. I think that's in Parkwood. Listed for two eighty nine. It sold for three hundred. Eleven thousand over. Three bedrooms, two baths. Eleven days on the market. Built in nineteen ninety three. With 17 and 4 square feet, leased land, and it is a territorial view. Okay, Comet Court. Hmm. <coughs> Not familiar with this one. With originally priced and sold at 399000 uh, Three bedrooms, one bath, 34 days on the market. Built in 1977 with 1,300 and. 75 square feet on a uh, little more than a quarter of an acre mountain view. Uh, next house is on Fairweather Drive. It is li was listed for 439500 It ended up selling for 435 Three bedrooms, two baths, 12 days on the market. With uh, Built in 2014 with 1,368 square feet and on 0.11 of an acre, kind of wedged in there, and it had a territorial view. Yeah, small lot. Yeah. Okay, Nelson Road is our next home. That's and, uh, way up. Sold at asking 435000 Two bedrooms, two baths, five days on the market, built in 1973, and um, has 1,578 square feet with a little more than an acre and mountain view. Cool. And um, the next house is on Strawberry Lane. We can play the music for the Beatles there. Listed at 450, it sold at 450. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two days on the market. Built in 17, 1976, sorry. <laughs> 1776. <laughs> With 1,712 square feet on one point one and a quarter acres and a territorial view. Okay, Discovery Bay Port. Uh, once again, sold at asking, which was five hundred twenty-four thousand nine hundred fifty. Three day, uh, three bedrooms, two baths, three days on the market. Built in nineteen seventy-nine, one thousand eight hundred and sixty-four square feet, and point two two of an acre and neighborhood view. Okay, moving down the list here. This one's on Lone Eagle. Listed for seven twenty-five, it ended up selling for six fifty. So a bit of a drop there. <clears throat> Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, ninety-eight days on the market. Built in nineteen ninety-nine, with nineteen forty-four square feet on an acre with a mountain view. All right, four to go. So um, Morgison Loop. Um, originally priced at $875,000, sold for $860. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths, 17 days on the market, built in 2021 with 2,240 square feet, well, on a quarter of an acre with Mountain View. Very good. We got to see if we see any trends here. The next one is on Amethyst Drive. That is at the base of Bell Hill to the north side. Listed for nine ninety eight, it sold for nine twenty five. 
8,000. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 90 days on the market. Uh, built in 2004 with 3,478 square feet on a little over a half an acre, saltwater and mountain view. Bells of our courthouse are chiming. It is now 10 o'clock. And uh, so, yeah, we're getting into some larger homes here. This yep. one is on San Juan, originally priced at $1,095,000. And um, then they lowered it a little bit. It finally sold for 975000 120 less than original. Three bedrooms, three baths, uh, one half bath, 117 days on the market. And um, yeah. built in 2001 with 3,956 square feet. That's it. That's a lot of house to clean. Oh, I got you beat. Next one. I do, you do. And um, 0.21 of an acre and Mountain View. Bring it home, honey. <laughs> so the final house in our little tour today is on Simdar's Road. It was. It looks like quite a grand place. I We haven't been in it. Listed for $1.1 million. It sold for 985000 That's a hefty drop of 115000 Three bedrooms, three baths, 298 days on the market. So people with a million dollars weren't too interested, I guess. Built in 1972, it had 4,381 square feet on 3.63 acres and a saltwater view. I would hesitate to buy a house that big. Yeah, we lived in a kind of a big house. Yeah. And it was great because we raised four, four kids in it. Everybody had a bedroom, so like five bedrooms. Anyway, um, well just looking at these last three, 90 days on the market, 117 days on the market, and 298 days on the market. And whereas most of the homes that were sold were within the first week or two. <clears throat> yeah, the cheaper ones were, well, 34, 12, 2, 5, 3, 1. Yeah. So, so um, one thing about <coughs> if you're looking for a home, buyers generally are very well educated because they're searching the internet. Well, these are the buyers yeah. most of the time. Well, if you if that's you, um, so looking on Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, there's probably thirty or forty different uh, platforms that you can look at, and so they know what they're looking for. They know where the prices are, and they have a really good sense of what the price ought to be, and they just won't pay more for. Uh, a home than what they think it is, unless it's the perfect place they have to have it. So it's really good to the get, dogs. Uh, get your, your price on the market, uh, be as accurate as you can be, and a lot of times it's just lower than you think it should be because, you know, it's maybe you raised your kids there, or it's... it's um, but if you can go just a little bit below what your realtor tells you is the market value, you will spark interest in a lot of more people. Yeah, a lot of times you get multiple offers, even in this market. Yeah. So the market in general, kind of what we're seeing, we, we hesitate to make predictions about the future because um, and we hear about those all of the time and they just don't happen. Yeah. But uh, what we have seen is that there was a period of about five or six months that there just wasn't much happening. You know, I mean, yeah. some of our little videos we would do here, we only had five homes in the week and that's for like 300 realtors so there were 300 realtors in that previous week just didn't get paid you know so now it's kind of it's not really robust right now but it's picking up so now we're looking at 15 sometimes 20 homes and uh, a little a little yeah. more frequent activity so that's a good sign we haven't seen the prices drop and yeah you probably heard about the lowering of the interest rate by a half a point and generally when that happens that doesn't hit the the market for several months because it's got to filter through the people that loan the money. It's the base interest rate, the Fed charges, and so finally, um, you know, it could be two or three months before you will actually um, see yeah. the rates offered by your broker, your mortgage broker, or the bank that you deal with, kind of drop down to wherever you want, want it to be. Amen. Okay. Yes, sister. So we're heading to a cabin in the mountains. Little cabin. That's that's a cabin. Little. In the wilderness. Yep. Because we want to watch the stars. We want to see it, the. It's, it's on clear. the Titan River. It's the uh, 
Rim Rock Reservoir. And we have Silver Beach, we've been there several times. It's just a kick in the pants. And so, um, video. yeah, okay. we're gonna we'll post a video on it. Yeah. And so what's great about it is this is a reservoir that they back up the Tyaton River. Then they um, irrigate the Yakima Valley in the summertime. And then right before we get there, they let they open the dam and let a lot of the water out. So um, we're up at the end of the, the reservoir, so that kind of drains out and we can go out into the middle, which used to be the lake. And we have the most glorious view of the heavens, you know, stars and satellites. It's, it's a really We've incredible. done this before. Yeah, we've done it. So we get out there about, you know, midnight because there's no lights around at all. And It'll be a chore keeping him awake. I actually go to bed about like, you know, 8.30. 8.30. But I'll stay up to maybe 10 or 11. Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway. We'll let you know about it. You'll see about it next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.